breaking NBA coach calls national anthem racist, calls protesting athletes brave patriots. Even as the NFL suffers a backlash for allowing, and encouraging, its athletes to protest the national anthem, one NBA coach is voicing his support for them, calling them brave and patriotic athletes. The NBA does not allow athletes to stage protests or political statements on the court, during the national anthem or any other time. However, as the season got underway, several anthem singers took a knee as they sang, causing outrage among many. NBA athletes including LeBron James and Stephen Curry have voiced their support of anthem protesters in the NFL and criticized President Trump's condemnation of those athletes. Stan Van Gunty, head coach of the Detroit Pistons, is speaking out on the controversy, and his comments are likely to spark additional outrage among many. Van Gunty said the Star Spangled Banner contains racist verses, and then defended the athletes participating in the protests as patriots. In a new essay for Time magazine, Van Gunty justified the protests by saying they are necessary to effect change and insists they are not disrespectful to the troops or the flag. Here are selections from Van Gundy's essay. In a time where bigotry seems on the rise and commitment to racial equality on the decline, I have an obligation as a citizen to speak out and to support, in any way possible, those brave and patriotic athletes who are working to bring change to our country. I believe all of us do. Honoring America has to mean much, much more than standing at attention for a song, one which, by the way, contains racist language in later verses. Protest has nearly always been the catalyst for meaningful change. And it has always made people uncomfortable. This was true of the abolitionists, the women's suffrage movement, the civil rights movement and the gay rights movement, all of which shined a bright and needed light on injustice demanded that our country live up to its stated ideals and produce our most meaningful change. Colin Kaepernick has been denied employment for the act of taking a knee to draw attention to the issue of police killings of men of color. Tommy Smith and John Carlos were denied employment and advancement in their post-athletic careers because they raised a fist on the victory stand at the 1968 Olympics. These athletes and many others are risking future contracts and endorsement opportunities to speak out on issues of racial injustice because they feel duty-bound to do so. These are patriots of the highest order. What are your thoughts on the essay by Stan Van Gunty? Let us know in the comments, and in addition, share this on social media. Media.